Welcome to part 5.1. In this video, we will explore message buttons in discord.gd. Just a quick note, I have updated to version 1.1.2. You can check the version in the project settings, in the plugins tab. This message buttons will not work in older versions so make sure you update. There are a few commands which we made in the previous parts like embed, ping, file. Now we will make a button command. First type message button dot new. The message button has many functions like set style and others, which can be used to customize the button. The button has five different styles. Let's set the style to the default style. For that type message button dot styles dot default. Then we need to set the custom id. Each button must have a unique custom id except link buttons. Then we set a label. To send the button we need to make an action row first. And add the button in the action row. To add a component to the action row, we use the add component method. There are code snippets already on the documentation if you don't want to type from scratch. Then we can send the row by passing it in the components. Let's try it out. Oops, I forgot to specify some content for the message. Nice it works. Let's add some more buttons. For this I will make a buttons array with 5 buttons inside. The second button will have the success style and label as go. The third button will have the danger style and label as clear. The fourth button will have the secondary style and label as back.
The fifth button will be a link button. So I will set the style to link. It doesn't have a custom id but it has a URL. Then we add each button to the action row. You can see how each style of button looks like. Now let's see how to respond to buttons. First I will comment out the other buttons and keep only one button. When a button is clicked, an interaction is created. We can handle this interaction in the interaction create signal. Let's connect it to a function. You can either connect it using the editor button, or through the script. I will connect the signal using script. Then we need to define this new function. It will receive the Discord bot and the interaction. In this function, first we make sure that we respond only to buttons. So if the interaction is not a button we return from the function. Now we can use the match statement, to handle each button individually. Let's print the username of the user who clicked the button.
Oops, I missed the dot username. It still shows interaction failed, since we didn't respond to the interaction. Let's fix that now. We can use the reply method to respond to an interaction. If ephemeral is set to true, only the user who clicked the button will be able to see the reply. If fetch reply is set to true, the method will return the reply as a message. We can also update the original message which has the buttons using the update method. Now we will disable the buttons when the button is clicked. To do this, first we get the action row and loop through each of its components. Set the disabled attribute of the button to true. Then we update the components of the message. Nice it works. 
That's it for this video, in the next part I will show you how to use buttons to make a multi-page help command. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.